Good morning. <laughs> so I've been up about set since seven o'clock this morning, peeling, chopping, preparing for a lovely Christmas dinner today. I'm just about to start the roasties. I've done um, parsnips, done the sprouts, which they come on a stalk, but they were tiny this year. That's the whole stalk. <laughs> weren't even worth keeping their leftovers oh I've got me foil in here I've got pigs in blankets and two stuffing balls wrapped in bacon because I had two leftover bacons so it's all nice and cozy today it's absolutely tipping it down it's nine o'clock now I'm sure it's nine o'clock yep dead or nine <laughs> Dan's just got up I didn't want to wake him up I'm like that in the morning so I just let him rest and he's got up and he said he's not getting up today <laughs> if that makes any sense he doesn't feel very well so cozy day it is i think i will be getting dressed i was just not getting dressed because i didn't want to disturb down in the bedroom so it's not even worth making the bed now this morning but yeah i'm just gonna peel and chop these roasties and then get dressed oh another thing i've just popped in the oven my ham Oh, you can't see. Let me get a torch. My ham. If you remember, I got the pork rind ham. Now, somebody had said to do it in the slow oven. Now, <laughs> when I checked the price on this yesterday, actually, it was £12 something, £12.82 or 62 or something. I don't want to ruin it in the slow cooker. I know roasting that is going to make it nice. It's meant to have crackling on the outside. So I don't want a boiled steamed ham. Uh, although I like it. Now, I've only got one sachet of honey and I want honey roast parsnips, I want honey ham and I want honey to go onto my pigs and blankets. So, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna stretch all that, but it's not going to stretch. So I have to make priorities. I think the priority is definitely the parsnips. They've gotta be honey roasted. And if I've got a tiny bit, try and put it on the um, ham at the last minute we'll see how this goes yes yeah, so it's just going to be a cozy day of me cooking in the van today making early christmas dinner oh look i got this yesterday of my neighbor couldn't wait to set this up this morning look how gorgeous it is it's really nice it would have been lovelier if you could have had one lit underneath it is so fragile i've got to be careful i don't break that right supper tea oh that's hot get dressed and I'm gonna carry on with the day if I open all the blinds and stuff it won't feel so cozy and then Dan won't feel like wanting to stay in bed do you know what I mean <laughs> so let's see how this goes <laughs> I've been up since six so yeah yeah if I do this then maybe he might actually get up we'll see we'll see so I know this is going to sound stupid, but I need to talk about cutting roasties. <laughs> right, so we've got a big bag of, two bags of cheapy spuds yesterday. Now usually you want the big ones for jackets and stuff and you hardly ever get the big ones, but literally they're all massive, all massive, which I find annoying then when you're cutting for a roastie because look, you end up with really odd shapes like that, which throws me off that to me, <laughs> I don't really like that it's these end bits so if this was a small potato you'd cut like let's say that off cut let's say that off oh let me just try and cut it which obviously it'll be smaller than that but then you ended up then with a weird shape now is it just me i don't know see now i've got to go down the middle like that you can have big roasties i suppose but i don't know so i'm going to be putting these on early today sort of like a Sunday dinner sort of time you know and I'm going to be doing the roasties and beef dripping I'm not going to bother with mash today because I have actually got a lot of easy stuff going on as well I've got Sweden mash if you remember I bought like a little um where is it a little takeaway dish it's like this but Sweden mash and then also we've got red cabbage and apple so that's going to be really really nice all right, I need to crack on. <laughs> Try and get this on the go. Dan's not even dressed at the minute. <laughs> he's just popped out in his dressing gown. So I can't even film him today. I hope 
give it a minute or two. You know, sometimes everyone wakes up in the morning not feeling too great, do they? But after half an hour and a cup of coffee, you feel all right again. So hopefully he might feel on form. He has been busy. He has been doing a lot with, like, bike reviews and stuff like that. That's a bit of a manky spud. See, now I've lost the end now. I've had to cut the end off. <laughs> Am I the only fussy one like that? I wouldn't say I'm fussy. <laughs> Just how I like my roast potatoes. <laughs> um, see, I don't know how now to cut the last piece. It sounds so pathetic. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, Mazzy. But I don't know how many to do. I don't want to overdo it, but it's always nice to pick at some for later on. So once I've done these roasties, that's all my... Um, that's actually all my peeling and chopping. <laughs> so it's such an easy dinner today. And I really enjoyed doing this, just dossing in the van this morning. So that's been nice. It's always nice to cook a proper meal and you know it's going to be appreciated. Slinging stuff in the oven doesn't do it for me. It really don't. So what did we have last night? Oh, Dan had leftover pasta and waffles. I had did I have? Some chips. Oh, I cooked one of these new spicy Tesco burgers in a barn and a few handful of chips. Let me see if I can find them. Now oh, guys, I like spicy, right? And I can handle spicy. But boy, God, they were spicy. They were really, really spicy. Dan didn't get to try it because I only actually cooked the one. And, um, Yeah, I don't think he wanted to try it last night with the pasta. I don't think it would have gone. <laughs> don't forget we've got beef dripping Yorkies today as well. So as soon as he got up, he was like, oh, I'm not getting up today. I don't feel well. And I just started preparing all this. And I was like, don't you want dinner today? <laughs> then I was panicking. He said, yeah, yeah, I'll have dinner. I just don't want to get up. He didn't feel very well, so. Oh, oh come on, Lucy. So I did have people leave comments saying, where should you have a little fridge, a portable fridge? You know, because I was pushing things into the freezer with me foot, basically. And um, yeah, we still got that. It's out in the awning. Uh, we just haven't got it plugged up to the electric at the minute. Um, we had been storing like vegetables in there and beer, because believe it or not, it's still really cold in the actual fridge without having to turn it on. But I wouldn't risk putting like frozen stuff in there without it being on or it, not even like a pack of bacon, you know. So yeah, we still got that. We just, it's, just don't really want the bother of, um, what am I saying? Don't really want the bother of keep making sure it's all charged up all the time. So it'll be all right. We'll get through these few bits in, a, in even after today now. That, that's a lot of stuff going to be moved out of out of the house right rinse me potatoes off um i don't know what you let me just ask dan babe will you be wanting dinner for like sunday dinner time ish like one two no, a football at half twelve what time's that like uh, finish three. three about three ish then yeah Fish, that's perfect. Now you're thinking, well, why have I started the ham too early? Well, because I just don't, I haven't got the room in the oven. So I want to get that done out of the way. And that's going to be fine then for like sandwiches and stuff like that for a few days. And little add-ons to extra dinners. So we did actually have the opportunity of getting fish and chips last night. <laughs> Gutted at the time, but I've got to admit, me eating fish and chips, doesn't do me any good the next day i am dying especially like with my gallbladder and everything and especially now i've got acid this week so i thought no it was a good choice we didn't do that actually i've got to cover that with water haven't i oh yeah thank you for the tips I saw on the travel trolls comments uh what, what was it cider vinegar or white vinegar i think it was cider vinegar Personally, yeah, the thought of that just makes me want to rage, if I'm totally honest. Uh, yeah, I might give it a go because I have been really bad. <laughs> Alright, just sprinkle the salt in that water. 
and that's it. Just give these a quick little rinse. Get rid of me rubbish and I'm all ready to go then. It's just a cosy Christmas day dinner in the van. You know what, I might not even get dressed myself. <laughs> no, I will. I'll definitely stick a top on. Yeah, I might keep my jammer bottoms on. So I'm just going to check online on Google just to see if you can use golden syrup as a substitute of honey. I know it sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but when you ain't got honey or got anything else, you'll, you'll think of anything. Um, can I use golden syrup instead of honey? The actual line came up. It can be used what, wherever honey is used. Oh. And the same goes again. You can use honey instead of golden syrup. Mm, I'm not sure whether that's in baking or not. So let's just type in um, parsnips. Parsnips. Yeah, should. Yeah, you can put honey on it. I, uh, golden syrup on it. Okay, so I hope I've still got some golden syrup. Got a feeling I might have given it to Dan. I'm not sure for the animals. I'm not sure. Um, golden syrup. Um, what else? Golden syrup on uh, roasted ham. Roasted ham. Yeah, it's coming up. On gammon. Yes, you can. Brilliant job. So I'm going to be doing that then. <laughs> <laughs> golden syrup right let's see if we've got some golden syrup <laughs> so it is an absolute nightmare in here you see that's the one honey i've got look at it it's a mess oh, believe it or not i know what's what so don't worry about it um semolina i'm gonna need is that semolina yeah that's what i use on the roasties isn't it semolina on the roasties honey um Golden syrup, is that golden syrup? Oh, you know what I think that is. That silly old butterscotch golden syrup. Oh no, man. Oh, what else have I got? I've got too much stuff in here. Oh, oh, that's what I brought. I brought this from Tesco's one day. It was like really cheap for like 10p, literally about 10p. They were just trying to get rid of the stock. And it's a browning thing, great with soup, gravy, and meat. I didn't know whether that would be any oh, whether that would be any good for making like homemade gravy, proper homemade gravy with the meat juices, you know, on the on the hob there. Somebody let me know. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I've got jam, I've got jam, I've got jam. I've got uh, what's that? Lemon curd, oh, chocolate spread. Uh, actually that might be this semolina stuff I was using so I might just finish that off that I think was more for the pizzas that we brought that for oh it's a mess in it but when you only have two cupboards that's another jam oh that's actually um Sandra's jam campsite warden so I don't look like I've got golden syrup then nope well you know what <laughs> I might give that a go. <laughs> it's butterscotch. Oh, let me smell it. Let me see. I've got to visualise it on ham and parsnips. No. It's very, I want to say bitter, and I imagine it'll get bitter, bitterer as the cooking process. I don't know. I could try it, couldn't I? Might be nice on the ham. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. <laughs> Because if not, I've got to try and make this little sachet a honey stretch. Mmm. So I actually brought these when I went to Spain. Sachets of honey. Now, I find this a lot easier and better than buying a jar. Because as soon as you open a jar, the next time you go for it, it's all hard, isn't it? You have to try and melt it again. And But these, these stay all nice and runny. And it's actually really nice um, honey, this one. 
can't find them in the UK. Might be able to get them on Amazon. I don't know. So I've got to quickly do this. I've been online again to see then if I can use butterscotch um, golden syrup. Sounds like I could possibly get away with this. And also they use mustard as well. Now I wasn't keen on maybe the mustard side of it, but I might give this a go. Yeah, so let's quickly get this out. I don't know how long this is going to take to actually cook. Oh, look at that. That smells absolutely delicious. You can see the crackling already, look. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be putting, maybe I shouldn't be putting ham and uh, golden syrup and stuff on this because, um, oh, I need to cut that string anyway, because then it's not going to get all crackly, is it? I don't know, let me bring you down. Look, I'm just trying to cut my string off. I've only got one hand. <laughs> I did salt this um, rind before putting it in. Take the string off. Yeah, that's coming up nice. See that? Smells well nice, right. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure now. Unless if I just put a bit on the actual ham. I could do that. I don't want to spoil the crackling. And it's probably a bit too early as well because this can um oh i was going to do mustard when i <laughs> let's get a little spoon let's do a little bit of mustard i know it's meant to go on the rind okay i'm not sure if i want to ruin my rind <laughs> um where's mustard mustard oh where's the mustard Just uh, cheapy English mustard. Yeah, I know it's supposed to sort of go on the rind and everything, but. I think this could, oh, is that too much mustard? Well, it's going to melt and fall off and stuff, isn't it? And then you baste it. I'm guessing you'll then baste it with it, won't you? This could be the nuts. Right, let's get that back in the oven. Yeah, so I, I don't want to do the rind yet in case I ruin it. <laughs> I really want that crackling. Let's get that back in. So I haven't got that on full whack today. I've just got that on... Well, my oven is actually six, goes up to six. I've got it on five and a half today. Um, six could be just a tad too much. Right, yeah, so that's it then. Right, that goes in there. Get rid of some trash. And then I've got to start thinking about getting dressed. <laughs> so I think Dan might be coming round a little bit. Um, I was just going to explain, this is the sort of day we have, when we're not vlogging, this is the sort of day then we have. Um, usually we get dressed. It's very, very rare we have a bed day where we don't get dressed. Uh, but yeah, this is the sort of day we have when we're not vlogging. So, but today I'm going to vlog it for you, so you can actually see what we do on our sort of day or days off, so to say. Um, yeah, I haven't got a lot to do now, though. I've prepared all everything really. I'm a little bit unsure about this ham now. I think oh, maybe I haven't done the right thing. Never mind. It's going to melt off anyway. It's not really going to do a lot, is it? I've done my makeup. Oh. Oh, got a message, see? I can read it on me watch. It's been on charge all night. Oh, I better read this. <sighs> yes, and which reminds me, I'm sorry, I forgot to add the actual link to this in last night's video, didn't I? I will try and remember to do it today and tonight's. Well, well I'll have to see. It's remembering, you say, <laughs> come that time of the day, you just want to get the video done, get it uploaded, which takes a lot of time. But yeah, I'll try and remember to put the link in. Honestly, these watches are amazing. Not just saying it because I got it for free. I'd pay 30 quid for this. I'm getting all my personal messages and everything on this. And yeah, like I said, you can make phone calls as well. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's a message um, from my niece. It's showing the funeral of um, Shane McGuinn from um, The Pokes, Fairy Tale of New York. Oh, I feel like crying. It's so, oh, it's um, so emotional. Oh, it's amazing.
I'm going to show you the rubbish weather we've got today. Oh, it's just one of them days, isn't it? Just want to be in the van all cosy. Bed day. <laughs> I was just seeing whether it's actually washing the van. I can see the water coming down it. Huh. That's mad. Yeah, it's not very good. <sighs> Dan's still deciding he's not getting up today. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I feel good. I actually feel good today. Looking forward to dinner now though. I've just put these buds on for the roasties because everything's going to take time now in the oven and I feel like we both are looking forward to an early-ish dinner, probably even earlier than three, so we'll see how it goes. Um, that's what I'm aiming for anyway. <laughs> it's there if he wants it and it's there if he doesn't want it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Cozy day in bed, Christmas dinner in bed today. The potatoes are boiled, I've drained them off, shaken them up with, oh, semolina, I forget what I call that, semolina, isn't it? So they're ready now to go into the beef dripping, which I've got in the oven. No, I'm still not dressed, it's a bed day, okay? Right, so yeah, I've got the drief, beef, uh, drief, beef, uh, drief, beef, in, drief, beef dripping in the oven, getting hot, ready to put the potatoes in, but, I do feel like, I'm going to have to put you down otherwise I'm going to have an accident. I do feel like the ham might be done now. It's had quite some time and it's looking well. Oh. So I'm going to have to do one thing at a time. Take the beef dripping out first. That's all hot and melty. Let's just do this first. So if I bring you down, you can watch me put my potatoes in going to splash everywhere. Okay, it wasn't too bad. That's a massive tray of spuds in it. <laughs> I didn't realise it was going to make that. Now with these, get these last little bits out because they make like lovely little crispy bits. Dan actually likes those bits. Alright, so that's that. See if we can flip these over and get them all coated. I didn't put too much beef dripping in today, not like I usually would when I add the goose fat. Yep, so they'll be ready now to go back in the oven. That's getting complicated because I've only got one tray, you see. This is when now I want to turn the heat up as well. So I'm going to make sure that's up. Right, this is getting complicated. Right, that's cool enough. Let's move that for a second. Ooh. Scolding. Oh, right, okay, that's definitely done. Oh, <laughs> that's looking well done. But what I want to do, I'm not keeping this juice. I actually want to get it out of the juice and wash the tray. I'm not keeping excess fat. <laughs> So let me just check on that. Oh, I'll tell you what I did notice. This wasn't crisped up in the end either. I need a knife. And what I'm going to try and do is cut that fat off and see if it'll crisp up a little bit more. Do you see there, look? I think it went soggy because then I started spooning on um started spooning on the um fat. Right, I need to wash this tray and this saucepan before I can move on. the crackling bit off the side trimming up the fat 
And believe it or not, I've done half of it already. And this is all the crackling I've got. <laughs> it's like shrunk, seriously like shrunk. But, but you know, you don't want too much anyway. Yeah, so what I've been doing is trimming that off. <clears throat> Now this looks like it needs to go back in the oven this bit, whereas the other bits were okay. But what you have to do is take this fat off. That's what's keeping it moist. Moist? Moist. <laughs> yeah. So this is a bigger chunk. But that's whether that's going to crisp up now, isn't it? I'll lay it out on top of the potatoes for now. I'm gonna chuck that back in the oven quick and then deal with wrapping the ham up. Oh. We're getting there, we're actually getting there now. All right, I need to wrap this ham up. Make sure all the fat is kind of off it. We don't want fatty bits. Yep, that's practically it. So look at that, that's the end product. <laughs> I can't bring it over, it's dripping. <laughs> that's the end product. Looks all right gonna be nice that's for the trash and this should stay warm for a long time so a quick update I've been chilling here listening to Christmas music all day which has been fantastic so I've got the parsnips and roasties in there now um, I'm hoping to get it ready before football what time is football again darling One hour. One hour, oh, okay. We'll have to see about that. Um, got things out ready to go in the mic. I'm just gonna be micing these. Uh, I did um, the crackling and it's actually come out a lot more crispier. So that's cool. That just needs a little bit of a chop up and share it. <laughs> so all I've got left then is sprouts, ham, uh, chicken. I'm just gonna bung that in the mic just to heat it up. And then I've got the pigs and blankets, which I did sort of start in the oven, but I've had to remove them for now. So I'll get them back in the oven once the roasties and parsnips are done. I'm not sure I'm gonna bother with that <laughs> for the parsnips anyway. I'm gonna put that on the parsnips. And if there's any left over, I'll just drizzle it on there. So I can put that away. Yeah, I'm not keen on the smell or taste of that. Oh, I say taste, I haven't tasted it. I mean the smell. But I'm just going to take some trash out. The weather is getting worse. It's absolutely tipping out. Dan's saying actually that we're due high winds tonight, so he's a little bit nervous. And it's going to hit us straight, straight on this side of the awning as well, so that's not going to be good. But yeah, still a cozy day in bed with Christmas dinner. Yeah, sitting here now. I've seen the odd gust hit that side of the wall actually. We do also have, don't forget, we've got that sort of windbreaker down on the other side. Just hope that's going to take the majority of the hit. Hey honey. Hello. How are you feeling? Ready for my football. Not Go ready for bed? In uh, bed. A dinner, I mean. Uh, half time, I'll have my dinner. Half time, I'll yeah. aim for half time. Probably won't be ready by then. Uh, yeah, we've got a big storm coming tonight, haven't we? You're Windy, a little bit, yeah. You're a little bit nervous about it, aren't you? I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I hope you feel better for tomorrow. Gosh, every time I come in here, it smells amazing. It really does. I'm gonna cut up this crackling. Did you see this crackling, look, honey. That's all I got off the whole ham. Yeah, that's enough for me to start with. Mmm, I mean it looks nice. I like them burnt-y burn bits, so... That bit right. there might not be good though. Try it. Yeah, not wrong with that. No wrong with that. <laughs> That's where Dan spend in the day. Alright, I love you and leave ya.
Roast these are sizzling. I've put honey on them. Oh man, that looks delicious. I'm not sure if I'm going to give that any more time. Let me just get me tongs. Because I've still got to cook properly the um, pigs in blankets. I think they're going to be fine. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just give it maybe 10 more minutes. Yeah, maybe 10 more minutes because I haven't stirred these since I've actually put the honey on them. Oh, I love them when they're all just crispy and fall into bits like that. They're the best. These ones are really crispy at the back. Yeah, looking good. Right, okay, so I'm just going to give that sort of 10, maybe 15 minutes the max and then I need to get those on because football is on the go. Dan's in bed. <laughs> There he is, <laughs> watching football. And um, I'd like to get this ready for half time. So this is my dinner. Okay, it looks massive. I know it looks massive. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't put no pork crackling on. I love that bit. So no, Dan would prefer probably those crispier bits. So Dan's is just bringing in the mic. To make sure everything's hot. Oh. Put some crispy bits on there for him. Some book crackling. It's a massive dinner. It really is a massive dinner. But it's okay because if we don't eat it, we can go back to it later. So I've done my gravy. I just haven't done Dan's. Right, you ready for dinner, darling? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to go. For there we go, my dear. Thank you very much. So Dan's deciding to get out of the bed today and eat. I'm eating mine in bed. Go for it. I'll see you in about 20 seconds. A minute, max. Try it. So that's proper Christmas dinner in bed. I don't know why Dan's sitting at the table. Stay in bed. <laughs> right, let's give this a try. What should I try? Ah, ah. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Christmas in bed. <laughs>